Hi guys! Today is the first video I am doing as a married woman. I got married last week. I am so happy it's over. I don't want to repeat it ever again. It was a um, nerve-wracking event and a lot of stress, so I'm kind of still trying to recover after the day. So today we're gonna do uh, first impressions on uh, Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. And I'm also gonna talk to you about how my wedding day went, how everything uh, went through, was uh, some some events. <laughs> so I know I'm pretty much the last one probably to review this palette. It just happened to be that I got married and I was so busy and I had this palette for about two weeks, I think now. And I haven't swatched it, I haven't touched it. I opened it, I looked at it, but I never really like dig it in. So. This is my first Jeffree Star product. Um, I really have high hopes for this product. I mean, everything, apparently everything he releases is just like so good according to reviews. <laughs> so um, I'm really hoping it will be really amazing. So without further ado, let's uh, jump into the video. That's how the palette looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the packaging. It is stunning. It's, it's beautiful. Like. I would just get it for the package on. Same idea. Um, I think it just, well, the feeling this one is more metallic, the package, and this one more like matte, which is still beautiful and I really like it. So when you open it, you have how many do you have? You have 15 eyeshadows and the pan size is pretty big. Oh, so you have uh, 15 shades by 0 0.069 ounce or 195 grams. It is pretty decent uh, size. I just love the colors. I'm honestly here for these three colors. I haven't seen anything similar to that. I just hope it is as pigmented as it looks in the pan. Quench, Submerge and Splash, Ugh, they're so good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my eyes and we're gonna zoom in closer and we're gonna try the colors and at the end of the video I'm gonna do the swatches just to see how it all um, shows up. By the way, I don't like my new hair. I cut it. I couldn't wait to cut my hair. I was growing it for about two years now? No, I was growing it for about a year and a half with the whole wedding so I can actually do a hairstyle that I want so the moment the wedding passed I cut it off. I'm kind of liking it. I feel like I want it a little bit shorter but I don't want to traumatize my husband now. <laughs> so we're all nice and close. I already primed my eyes and of course I use my trusted uh, MAC Pro Longwear paint pot. Uh, this is the primer that I always use with new eyeshadows because I trust this pretty much. So the first shade that I'm gonna go in is the Parched, the, the base shade. So I'm gonna just uh, set my primer. There is no kickback. I really like this uh, actually eyeshadow. It doesn't look powdery, it's just perfect. I was not expecting to like this shade. <laughs> it's just not unlike any other shade that I ever... Tr oh my gosh, it's so soft. It's like really, it's so different than any other shade that I tried to set my primer with. I don't really know what kind of look I want to go for, but I feel like I want to do some kind of color. So I'm gonna go the Tam Cloth. Did I say it correctly? I don't know, the peachy shade. And I'm gonna apply it in the crease. Again, no kickback. A little, uh, a little bit of uh, powder comes off when you hit the brush. I see the pigmentation. Let me tell you about my wedding day. Obviously, I was very much stressed. I just wanted to get it over with. And um, we woke up around 8, I think. Uh, no, actually, I woke up around 7. And at 8, we already had people over. They were doing makeup, hair, all that fun stuff. So everything was working fine and I thought we were kind of ahead of schedule and um, the car actually, the limo, arrived an hour early than I was supposed to come and our photographers and videographers were saying that, well, that's like so, so strange, they're usually always late. So I kind of felt lucky for a second, but then the guy calls and says, uh, can someone please bring two gallons of water because the car is overheating. <laughs> I was like, okay, crazy. How did you get here? 
and he's saying that pretty much we're gonna get to the church but we're not gonna make it anywhere else with that car so at this point I'm pretty much like I'm upset I wasn't freaking out thank god I wasn't freaking out there's nothing I could do at this point and uh my maid of honor, oh my gosh, she's so amazing. She dealt with everything. She said, do not stress. She just helped me with everything. She went and ran the water. I got this car and my husband didn't even see the car that I ordered the limo. And uh, I really want him to drive in the car because it was something special. It was um, uh, like a limo, Rolls Royce limo. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't nothing like fancy or brand new. It was like used and beat up, but still you know like what are the chances i'm gonna go and get them through all stories again so i was a little bit bummed that we're gonna make it to church but we're not gonna make it with that car but well there's nothing i could do at that point right long story short we get into the car we get onto the highway to get to the church and the guy had to pull us over on the highway because the car was overheating it starts smelling like something is burning. I was very much concerned for my dress. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it to the church. No one's gonna see this beautiful dress. I was thinking about all these possibilities that could happen. Like, I didn't think that we could burn in the car, you know? Like, I was I was concerned with my dress <laughs> being burned in the car. So, yeah, we had to wait in the middle of the highway to get uh, a different car. And, obviously, we were late to the church, which is kind of played fine for us, right? It's always late. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Like, we were late, but not that bad late. I can't, like, I told my dad that we are late, so just so you know, make my groom at ease so he doesn't freak out and thinks I don't, I'm not gonna show up at the church. Uh, I'm gonna go for the next color. I'm gonna go for the stroke. That's the shade. And I'm gonna do the same, just a little bit lower in the crease. So, we arrived at the church half an hour later than we were supposed to be. From there on, everything went perfectly fine the ceremony was nice and short the thing is like we're orthodox and in orthodox we have like different traditions in the church and the maid of honor had to hold the crown on top of our hat while the ceremony is going for like about 20 minutes and it's heavy like it's metal uh, so she had to suffer a little bit and uh, I asked her to put it on my head and she was like nope I'm holding it I'm suffering it it's gonna look good <laughs> so she is amazing. She is the best native owner you could possibly have. I am so thankful for her being there at my um, special day. She's just, she's just amazing. Just gonna get a different brush because it's too thick. So yeah, that's how everything went. And then, of course, I was covered in blisters by the end of the night. And I was such a smart girl. I'm like, no, I'm suffering in the hills for the whole day. I'm not buying any backup shoes because I'm that smart. Uh, of course, by the end of the night, I was dancing with my bare feet. But that's beside the story. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I could make it in the hills to the venue, but that's pretty much was it. Everything else was... Everything else was amazing, like, I liked the day, I would not do it ever again, and for people that, like, I never wanted a wedding, and everyone was telling me, like, no, you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, I did enjoy it, like, don't get me wrong, it was fun, but I don't think it's... It's worth the stress and uh, money to go through that thing. Once in your life, if you wanna, do it. If you don't wanna, don't do it because people are gonna tell you that you're gonna change your mind and you're gonna regret it. Honestly, I don't think I would have regretted not having it. So far, I'm having no issues with blendability. I'm gonna go in the shade Drizzle, the brown, the darkest brown shade, and just focus on the outer corner. All of the shades are not that powdery as like Anastasia's eyeshadow. I like that brown, it's really pretty. It's like a very cool tone brown. Kind of hard to find. Alright, the blending is done. Um, I wanna get some pop of color. I think I wanna go with the shade Snatch. That's the shade. Um. I'm gonna try first with the dry brush. If it doesn't work, then I'll try with the wet brush. Yeah, there's really nothing picking up. I'm gonna go with the wet brush. I'm not living for that. The best bet is to do it with the fingers. It's not wanting to pick up with the brush well but with the fingers so you get you see how pigmented it is it's just the brush does not wanna for the love of god 
pick it up. I love that color though. You're gonna definitely see a lot of fallout from this shade because it's a very glittery shade for sure. It works so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it transforms. When you wet the brush while you have the eyeshadow on, look how different it is. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but I can definitely see how blinding and shiny it is. Oh, I'm just... Wow, crazy. So one way would be to pick up shadow on the brush and then uh, wet it and then apply it. You're gonna see how nicely it transforms. Ah, oh, I love it, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna be back to do the the lower lash and just some uh, final touches. I'm gonna do the swatches and uh, I'm gonna give you my overall review of the palette. So the rest of the makeup is on. The one thing that we have left is a lower lash. I did apply some eyeliner and lashes. So I'm gonna grab, what color should I go with? Oh my god, I am obsessed with that shiny. It picks up so well on the line. Anyways, um, okay, we're gonna go with the shade Splash, the green, the bright green shade, and I'm gonna put it on the lower lash and hope it looks good. Ooh, it's pretty. I'm loving it. I'm gonna apply the mascara on the lower lash and we are pretty much done. I'm gonna grab a uh, Wet n Wild highlighting, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. That's the highlight I'm wearing on my cheeks. And I'm just gonna do it in the inner corner and uh, grab them. All right, everything is done. I am actually loving the makeup. Um, if there were a few things that I could say bad about this palette, it's just, I wish there was a little bit of a darker shade, so the drizzle is not dark enough. I want something like deeper, but I have other palettes. I have other colors that I can just go and uh, dip in. It's not a big deal. And the other one is the brow bone, uh, brow bone color, like something shimmery that I could apply in their inner corner. I mean, like I could technically apply some of these colors. It's just, they're so glitter. Like this is a glitter, like it's pressed glitter. Definitely. It's not, um, it's not pigment. I wouldn't, I wouldn't apply this um, any of those shades in the inner corner because just they're too glittery for my liking for the inner corner. But they're so stunning and they pick up the color and the light so beautifully. It's it's incredible. Overall, I really like this palette. I like how the colors uh, blended. I'm really obsessed with this splash. It is beautiful. It is pigmented. It just it's amazing. Um, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna do some swatches for you and uh, pretty much we are done with reviewing this palette. So the first row we have Perched, Taste Buds, Beige, Kumquat, Stroke. The second row we have Divine, Filthy Rich, Lick, Snatched. And the final row we have Subtle, Quench, Submerge, Splash and Drizzle. Like look how <laughs> can't even turn my arm around. Look how crazy pigmented they are. They're so beautiful. I'm so impressed with the glittery shades. Look how stunning they are. Look, just look. Do you see how beautiful they are? Oh my God. One shade out of all of the glittery ones, uh, which is Lick. It's not uh, glittery as uh, the rest of the shades. It's more metallic. Everything else, every other shade that the, the middle shade is really much uh, glittery, which is beautiful. Like I love how it looks in the lights. It is absolutely stunning. Overall, I am in love with this palette. I think it is a great palette. I can see myself using it a lot. I like the shades. You can go for a very well, you can't really go with a very neutral, like, you cannot really make that neutral 
look with this, even though you actually could, like if you would go with these shades and that, you could make a neutral look. These are not neutral everyday colors. This is an amazing palette. I like how different it is. I'm really living for it. I find that, that a lot of other palettes recently been more like a warm tone, which is fun, but I think we kind of have enough of those. So this is definitely nice change. Um, I see, of course, a lot of brands coming out with the, uh, like, bright colors. I'm really happy with this purchase. It's my first uh, Jeffree Star purchase. I'm living for this palette. I don't regret purchasing it, which is good because it's not cheap. <laughs> um, I can't wait to use the other shades, but so far uh, this is what we got on the eyes. I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day. I'm gonna probably update you at the description box below how the eyeshadows work. Yeah, I have nothing bad to say except the brow bone color and something darker. That's just my preference. I like like very deep um, dark colors. Everything else is great with the palette. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the look we created today. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on my Instagram. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.